Hello everyone, this is Kevin Alexander with AltaVista Technology. Whether or not you're a veteran or new to Business Central, keyboard shortcuts can be a handy way for navigating and getting things done. So we're going to walk through a few of some of the very handy keyboard shortcuts together. Now, uh, on, within Business Central, you can get a list of all the keyboard shortcuts that are available to you uh, by coming up to uh, the Help here in the top right corner. And when you select Help, uh, inside there, you'll see Keyboard Shortcuts. And when you select that, it's going to take you to uh, docs.microsoft.com, Keyboard Shortcuts. Uh, don't worry about all the text in here. What you really want is the graphic, and you can select that by clicking on this right here. And this will bring you to the list of all of the very handy keyboard shortcuts. And we're going to cover some of these here today. The first shortcut we're going to cover is how to reach my settings. And you can do that by selecting the Alt and T, Oops, selecting Alt and T there, and that will open up uh, my settings. And uh, this should look really familiar. This is where you can uh, change your role center, uh, what company you're logged into, system date that you're uh, working with, etc. Okay. Next, we're going to look at how to access the search function. And that's Normally, uh, when you click on the magnifying glass up here, and actually, it's uh, known as Tell Me in the documentation. And you can reach that with your keyboard uh, simply by hitting Alt and Q uh, together. There, let's hit Alt and Q, and that will bring down the uh, Tell Me function. So here, if we were to type in Chart of Accounts as an example, uh, just like you've uh, been used to doing with the search, but without having to use uh, the mouse there. Okay. Well, let's take a look next at how to reach the uh, help function uh, inside of Business Central. So we can do that, uh, again, with our keyboard combination of uh, Control and F1. And that will open up help over here. And now I can do a search. So we'll type chart of accounts. Oops. And uh, if we would do a, a search there, now I'm going to get some search results for working with the chart of accounts. So a quick way of getting into our search function. Next, let's take a look at uh, one of my favorite functions, and that's how to copy uh, when you're working uh, inside of lists, how to copy uh, text uh, when you have a lot of re repetitive entry. So I've gone and opened up a general journal that I've already started to build. And when I come into here and you start to tab through it, um, I can copy the value of the cell directly above it uh, by just hitting F8 uh, on the keyboard. So if the cells uh, are going to be doing a lot of entry um, that's repetitive, uh, I can uh, copy the data in the cell directly above it. And that works with uh, all types of values. So it's one of my favorite. It's really quick uh, to copy data. So next, let's look at how we can toggle fact boxes on any of the screens that we're on. So here, I'm uh, on a customer card, and uh, I can uh, toggle that fact box by using Alt and F2, and that will open or close and open uh, the fact boxes on the right hand side. So when I want a little more real estate to work with, I can uh, turn that off. Or I should say close that. Next, let's look at how we can pop out a page. So we may want to a pop out a page where I want to have multiple windows open at the same time. So 
here on our customer card again, the same customer card that we were working with, uh, there's the uh, pop-out icon here uh, in the top right corner. So you may have used that previously, right, to kind of pop out a other page and, and lay pages side by side for working with. But we can do the same thing uh, with our keyboard. So we'll go ahead back and I'll open up uh, that, cus that customer card again. And we can do this by clicking uh, on the uh, Alt-Shift-W. So uh, I can hit uh, Alt-Shift and W and pop out that window now for easy working. Sometimes when we're working with windows, we want to be able to expand the window, give us the widest page possible, or maybe we want to slim that page down. Now, uh, just like the pop-out, uh, that can be done with the uh, arrow here, and we can uh, click on that to uh, go wide, or again, uh, to kind of slim that up. And to do that with our uh, keyboard, We can use uh, on our keyboard uh, Control and F12, and that will uh, expand the window for us or shrink that window back. Next, if you've ever had to toggle through a set of records, uh, a lot of times you'll do that on screen uh, using the arrows. Uh, but uh, and the keyboard, uh, we can toggle between records uh, using the control, and we can use the up and down arrow. So uh, on this vendor, as an example, I can hit control and the down arrow, and that will move me uh, between those records. Or I can go uh, hit the up arrow and navigate back in the other direction. Now we can switch uh, and we can also, for a field, look at the tooltip on a field or uh, for a drop down, uh, have the drop down uh, list appear for us to make a selection. Using uh, the arrow keys uh, up and down, uh, before we're using the control key, here we can use the alt key. Uh, and if we go into the name field here, uh, as an example, and I do an alt uh, up arrow, uh, I get the tooltip for that particular field. So um, what that field is designed for. So it doesn't matter which field we're in, we'll end up getting the tooltip. Now, if I happen to be in a field that has a option set in it, so we'll just uh, scroll down here and I'll just click in the tax category field just to demonstrate that. If I use the alt and down arrow, uh, now I'll be presented with that list and in there, right, I can navigate and select to uh, select that option that I'd like and click enter and uh, enter that data into that field. So a uh, quick way of picking up tooltips and uh, being able to uh, select from a drop down list. Now a couple items with working with lists, right? We've all uh, discovered that lists are uh, really powerful in Business Central and we spend a lot of time uh, working in those. And so if I'm on a list, there's a few uh, keyboard shortcuts that you may find uh, helpful. Uh, I wanna filter to a specific value. So if I click in on a line in a cell here and I select uh, our Alt F3, uh, it'll filter to a specific value for me. So there's, uh, and then to clear that, uh, we can go ahead and uh, use the Control Alt Shift F3. So combination of all those, and that will clear the value and give me my full list set back. And then maybe we want to sort by a, a specific column. And we can do that with uh, Alt F7. So um, I'll go ahead and I'll just click in the unit cost field here. And we'll use the Alt and F7. And now I can uh, sort uh, based on that specific field. So I hope you found uh, 
some of these keyboard shortcuts useful. Uh, and we'll see you again soon with another Business Central video. In the meantime, please contact us if you'd like to learn more about Business Central. And if you like the video, please hit the thumbs up. And if it's your first time with us, click that subscribe button to stay current on all our content. And as always, you know, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video.